Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I went from the dreaded two beeping Lenovo desktop computer, I believe it was a CMOS error, to now fully fixing it, making loads and loads of mistakes along the way, and now having an up and running Ubuntu operating system on the computer with one terabyte hard drive, four gig RAM, and the three gigahertz processor. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to be testing out this 20 pound computer that I got last boot sale. If you haven't seen my boot sale video, I'll link it here. Take a look at it. So I've got this computer for 20 quid last week. No idea if it works. I haven't plugged it in yet. So we're going to do that today and let's see what happens. Hopefully no explosions, although that might be good for the views. So, but yeah, I, I'm hoping it works. So hopefully no explosions. With these things, you never know if they've been sitting outside for long periods of time or not, so. All right, so power and VGA plugged in. Let's come around to the front and turn it on. Okay, so, oh dear. All right, no idea if that's a good sign or not. All right, so no explosion, that green light's on. Uh, VGA inactive, apparently. Oh, nice. Okay, so it's kind of, it's on at least. We know it's on. So I'm now thinking that maybe Something might be loose inside there. I don't know. I mean, I've been dealing with Raspberry Pi for such a long time. I don't even know how actual normal computers work. So I'm a bit stuck right now. Not sure what I'm going to do. Just going to, I think let's open it up and take a look inside. I don't know. Maybe I might see something. Who knows? All right. So before I open up the Lenovo, I figured I'd just give it a quick Google. The tower itself is called the Lenovo Think Center, right? So I just typed in beeping twice and apparently if you're getting two short beeps, then it's a CMOS setting error. You may refer to the hardware maintenance manual. I reset the CMOS with the jumper pin feature. Move the jumper from 2 plus 3 to 1 plus 2 for a few minutes to hear constant faint double beeps a few cycles. Power off with the 7 to 10 second power button hold in. Then put jumper back into 2 plus 3 position. Okay, so I might have to replace that battery. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in now and just take it out and put it back in. Let's see what happens. Let's try that first. What I'm going to do is, I assume that's the CMOS battery there. So I'm going to take that out and put it back in, see if that makes a difference. I'll take out the battery and I'm just going to stick that back in and then turn it back on, see what happens. That's back in now. So let's have a look. I thought for a second that it wasn't going to beep. I got excited. But yes, yeah, it, did, it did beep. So I don't know what that means. All right, so I'm trying to reset the CMOS battery and I can't find any sort of jumper pin to reset it. All right, so when I search CMOS, it comes to clearing CMOS and it tells me that there is a jumper thing. Locate the clear CMOS recovery jumper. Delocating parts on the system board on page 72. When I go to page 72, number 17 says clear CMOS recovery jumper. So let's go back to the motherboard. So apparently CPU straight down there, um, battery, and then it should be somewhere. Okay, let's try. Let's let's have a look. All right, so let's see if we can find it. We've got the CPU, battery, graphics card. So it should be somewhere down here. And then there it is. So I've just got to move those pins over, right? And then power it on. Move it over, power it on, and then wait. Turn it off and put that back over. Just try that. So that's now on. So what did it say? I think it said leave it for 10 seconds, then turn off the computer by holding the power switch for approximately five seconds. Okay. So it's been more than 10 seconds now, so I need to hold the power switch for five seconds. One elephant, two elephant, three elephants, four elephants, five elephants. Okay, so it seems to have turned back on. Um, okay, now I'll just unplug it again and move that jumper cable over. So I plugged it in and it's kicked back on again. All right, it seems to be turning it on off and restarting. Nothing on my display yet. That beeping again. Arr. I don't think that did anything. All right, 
Okay, so after a bit of Googling, some people say take out the graphics card. I just want to say, I don't think there's a person in the world who assumes stuff more than me, man. Like, I just assumed, I saw those screws, and I said to myself, okay, so the graphics card, the graphics card, sorry, is um, screwed in. How am I going to get it out? And I just started pulling it, and it just came right bloody out, mate. <laughs> oh, man. I just don't know what's wrong with me. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside and try to turn on the machine now. Whoa, I did it, man. I was, like, sitting here, like, proper despondent. I'm very, very happy with that. All right, so I've pressed F1 and I've gone into BIOS setup utility. I think I need to go back to the manual now. So apparently, I need to enter the setup utility program and then I need to select save changes and exit, okay, and then uh, press F2 to bypass the error message. Escape to exit, select item, change values, F9, uh, select sub menu, F10, okay, F10, oops, select menu. What? How does that? Okay, system summary. Um, is on the left of it, so I need to press F9. Set up defaults. Load set up defaults. Yes. And then F10 to save and exit. Okay. Oh, what was that? Uh, no operating system found. Oh, yes. Okay, so that's good. So now I just need to get an operating system on it, right? Okay, let's try and download. Download. Into. So I made a bootable USB drive, and as you can see, it's fully working. So literally now, computer's up and running, working. All right, guys, so that's me. I'm done now. So the Ubuntu is working nicely. I've been using it for a bit. It's nice and smooth. So it's just got 4 gigs of RAM, 1.5 terabytes of hard drive space. So the plan is to hopefully, I haven't got the graphics card in at the moment. I've got it up there. And I need to probably get a display port and see if I can get that graphics card to work. But even just this as is, is more than usable for me. So be interesting to see if I can upgrade the RAM to much higher. I'm thinking I could, I could obviously just go on Amazon and buy it. But it's not that. I mean, I don't need another computer. I've got my Dell XPS. And so I kind of just want to just hopefully wait, go to some more car boot sales. And pick up some bargains so it'll be good to see if i if i can actually build a very good computer for cheap as well so yeah i think i'll leave this one here for now um show you guys the video and then i actually got this from the car boot so as well about a year ago paid like two pounds really nice keyboard yeah so i'll leave this one here and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace